Marshall. I am here in the courtyard behind Shady Grove with Neil Halstead. Hello. Hello. <laughs> and he is um, touring the U.S. again. He is based in the U.K. And we'll be playing at Lab tonight, and we're going to talk a little bit about um, when he's been through Asheville before and about his new album, Palindrome Punches. Are you a fan of palindromes? Do you, do you make them uh, up? Yeah, I, I, like, I like the fact they're really neat. You know? and, um, uh, and and uh, yeah, I like words, and I like yeah, I just I just like that 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 it's kind of very tidy. Yeah, you know, it's a tidy concept. <laughs> I, I've heard that some people with really overactive minds will lay awake at night and try to create palindromes. Yeah, I don't do that. I have <laughs> an good. I have an underactive mind. <laughs> I don't think so. Your your songs are so so beautiful, and I I've I've loved all three albums that you put out in, in your solo. Thank you. I wondered if, do you, do you feel like there's a, a continuity, like a storyline or a thread that, that runs between all of them, or for you are they kind of each a, a record of like where you were at that particular time? Um, yeah, I think more a record. I, I always mm -hmm. think records, kind of, like for me, are always like, yeah, just these moments in time, you know, the snapshots. And so I, I always tend to look at them that way, you know. Um, and I suppose there's, a, you know, so sometimes there's a similar mood to the song. I think like this record's a lot darker than, than my last album. Possibly, I think the uh, I might end it, which was the album before this, was probably a lot more sort of whimsical. This 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 kind of has a much more uh, the night about it, I suppose. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there is a, a, a darkness to it, but there's also something that's very um, expansive, and I think it, it has to do with the relationship of the music and, and the way you use your voice in it. That's kind of um, dreamy and, and atmospheric, but but it's also really telling the story. Yeah, I mean the instrumentation is probably um, kind of gives it that atmosphere and. Um, you know, it, it was it's the first time we've done a record, like a, a record with a, with a band. You know, mm -hmm. if you will, because the, the last two records were, um, were just kind of me like laying stuff, you know, kind of laying stuff on top of each other. And, uh, so um, yeah, the guys that played on the record really brought brought this kind of atmosphere with it. You know, because it's violin and double bass and piano, and so they're quite serious instruments. <laughs> so. <laughs> Talking um, a little bit before about ten years ago, when after you um, put out Sleeping on Roads, that you came through the U.S. and you played Vincent's Ear, which in Asheville is kind of now that it's gone is kind of a thing of legend. Because I played there, it's amazing. <laughs> because you played there, it's true. Um, I wondered yeah. if you if you remembered. Um, I don't now. remember actually, to be honest. And weirdly enough, I thought I played in Asheville in 2010, but I might well be mistaken about that. I thought I played a little cafe there. I. I, did a, like I thought that. I did a lunchtime kind of radio show in a little cafe here. It, it's or, possible, or yeah. that it could have happened like in another dimension. Yeah, it happens in the future sometimes. <laughs> <probably. Yeah. laughs> and we'll be seeing that yeah. in a few more years. So, so I, w I was also wondering why um, you do take a few years between albums. You you put out <laughs> three in, in ten years. Yeah, not the most prolific ones on the way out. Yeah, but you know, life gets in the way. And, sure. Um, uh, yeah, I, I kind of feel like I'm always kind of doing stuff and working on songs, and, but you suddenly realise that it's been three or four years since you put a record out, and you're kind of like, oh. 
miss that boat again. You know, it's um, so I, I constantly feel like I'm kind of starting again. You know, because mm -hmm. it's kind of like you know you, you come out and you're on tour and it's like oh okay yeah so you start again. But that's okay. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm glad that you've put this one out. I've been really enjoying it and I'm looking forward to the show tonight. Oh, cool. Well, I hope it's good. Though. It will be. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks thank for talking. You. No, thank, thank you. Thank you.